Hey everybody, I'm Marvazir, and we're back! With Yay! <laughs> what game is this again? <laughs> uh, I think it's Civ 4. Uh, mm -hmm. Beyond... Poland. I didn't remember the Civ 4 having graphics this good. Not quite this good. <laughs> these are pretty jacked up squares though, these tiles, mm -hmm. I don't really know. Yeah. So, so yes, there's been a bit of a break as uh, <laughs> I've done some traveling, I've been away. Mm -hmm. And now we're back to get destroyed by Rome. I mean, we will conquer Rome, obviously. Yep, totally, obviously. Mm -hmm. Would anyone else expect any other outcome? Clearly, no, you know. of course not. <laughs> so I'm going to start things off by uh, communicating with Rome over here. Because mm -hmm. the price to declare war on the Maya is shockingly cheap. In fact, I'm going to get to see if they can throw in a luxury resource for me at the same time. Mm, maybe not. So I want to pay for it. And Rome is still at war with Austria, which is nice. They are actually fighting each other. I see several cities in the red and yellow. So many cities, though. Hmm. That one awkward city-state to the southeast surrounded by undiscovered land. <laughs> Kafukia. Yeah. Can't get anything there. Can I sell? Looks like some people still want my horses. I don't think I need any horses at all. Suppose I can do the same. I don't horse. know about that. I mean, you're Catherine. I think you need a lot of horses. Hey now. <laughs> you know, I do hope Pakal won't get wrecked by Rome because that would be pretty bad. That would be terrible. But Pakal's <laughs> held its own before. Like mm -hmm, they yeah. swapped cities a little bit. Cities are pretty big. He had a lot of stuff on my border, too. I, I was worried that Maya was going to make a move against me. Mm -hmm. That was part of the other incentive with uh, getting them to declare war. Yeah. I have two great generals now. Hmm. I don't think I have any. No, not yet. Oh, and Denmark is still at war with Austria. I remember that. Good. So Austria is at war with both Denmark and Rome. No, that's really good, because, I mean, well, Austria did lose a lot of cities to Rome, actually. I forgot yeah, about yeah. that. Mm -hmm, and they did. we'll lose another one in a second. I think Austria's going to get steamrolled, especially if they've got to deal with both fronts. That's not great. Yeah, they will get steamrolled, I agree. At lots of oil. This is hooked up, too? Yes, it is. Good stuff. So I think I should just stand on that tile. Mm-hmm. But we're doing really good in tech. We're pretty much on par with everyone else. Yeah, I know, because their empires are probably so big. Yeah. All right, so just trying to... I'm still getting a couple of triplanes, actually way too many mm -hmm. probably, if we're going to be getting ballistics a little sooner than that. Uh, let me just cancel that one for now, because I still need some stuff, and maybe this one. Mm-hmm. Because we are six turns away from Oxford, we both have a great scientist, we got a research agreement. And I actually have enough money to just buy an entire aircraft gun as soon as we get ballistics. Fantastic. And that's probably rifle. what I'll do. Um. Rome isn't actually that far away, I could see us taking it. If mm -hmm. we try hard enough. In one press? Where is it? Oh, down there. Maybe not in one, but... No, not in one. It we can burn down Caesar Augusta again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. As you do. That's the tradition now. Yes, as is tradition. It's a great day. Oh, I got another set of oil. Cool. I'm going to have tons of it. I tend to start selling it. Yeah, I still have a lot Actually, of unimproved oil. I may as well. So you've got oil, right? So you're okay? Yep, yeah, I have a lot of oil. And, and I, I can should... get even more once we get the refrigeration. Nice. I'm definitely going to sell some to uh, Spain then. Another Roman settler, because of course... I got oh, 13 actually... land-based oil. So that's more than good enough. Oh, it's doing the thing where it's not letting me change the numbers all the time. There we go. And so I'll probably want to get a battleship or two, just in case... 
they want to be amazingly useful, but you know, in case we end up fighting Denmark at some point. Mm -hmm. Yay, markets. War infantry, three turns to our own replaceable parts, four turns to Oxford, so that's going to work out nicely still. Oh god, I have more oil there by Rostov. Holy cow. And considering it all gets doubled up, that's really good. Yep. I have this one problem where my city connection will most likely get broken eventually. By the Austrian border expanding. Oh yeah. Actually, I forgot. The units get confused. Okay, I don't have any automated workers. Good. Automated workers get confused when we're in cooperative mode and build random roads that go <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much almost never use automated workers. Usually when the game is already done and I just can't be bothered. Mm-hmm. As in, when I already know that I pretty much won, and it's just a formality to finish it. Yeah, I use it with like to fill in the gaps. Once I'm done, mm -hmm. it's like, I just look and it's like, yeah, farms, trading posts, whatever they want to build in those list, little couple of places doesn't bother me much. And it's nice, they go around putting all the uh, lumber mills. So I'm okay with that. I see a Roman settler. <laughs> yep. Can he actually squeeze in a city here? Nope. Because it's going to be adjacent to a border no matter what. At least the one I'm looking at. Maybe there's more than one. Oh yeah, he can do it uh, west of Vilnius or something. There's a lot of yeah. space over there to the north. That's an unescort. Well, he's semi-unescorted Roman settler going through mm -hmm. enemy Mayan territory. <laughs> I think that's going to become a worker. Mm -hmm. I've seen AI do crazier things, like try to excavate an antiquity site right next to my city while being at war with me. <laughs> <laughs> and his name wasn't Indiana Jones. Alright, I can sell more oil. Since I'm gonna get some more. Okay, one turn to Oxford. So, that's the research agreement. Yep. We're halfway through railroad. And Choose now. free tech. I'm choosing plastics. Mm -hmm. Boom. I'm, I'm going to pop my great scientist. Okay. Nice. So Finish this railroad. railroad. I will pop mine as well, which will probably bring us. Oof. Not quite that far, actually. Still, we need ballistics as soon as possible, so may as well do yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Spain. I'd like to sell you five oil, please. Defense in Ardea is pretty good. Oh, it's got a castle. Nice. It's been so long, I don't know what anything is anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we don't have ballistics yet, right. No. Nope. I was trying to find the entire aircraft gun on the list. <laughs> Soon, 13 turns. We still have the mm -hmm. truce with uh, Rome. Yep. I think we like ended the war basically at the end of last episode, I think. Yeah, I think so. Something like that, so we've got a little bit of time. So I got a new research element with Denmark, because why not? It's not like we plan to declare war on him anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And I've got one with the Maya, or maybe you do, I don't know. It must be you, because I don't have a timer set uh, up. Yeah, I got one with Pakal in 10 turns. And I don't have friendship with anyone, although maybe I can get one with Spain. We're not. There's no way we're planning on declaring on Spain, right? Yeah, definitely not. Yes, she accepted. I'm surprised Spain is still in this game. They'll probably get wiped out by Denmark once Denmark is done attacking Austria. Most likely. Can't steal from Rome, really? And yeah, we are number one in literacy now, so we are the tech leaders. Can't steal from Pakal either. 
So if I nice. leave him there, is it going to reset like every turn and keep trying? Is it going to save its progress? Because it was like halfway to stealing a tech. Like, I'm just wondering, like, if Rome suddenly researched refrigeration, would I be Good. able to steal it then? What's going to happen? Good question. I actually don't know. I mean, part of the reason he's there is to give me some vision as well. So I'm going to leave. I've got two spies in their territory. Mm, Where's I'm, Rabat, actually? Why I'm actually going to there? use mine as a diplomat to get some influence with Rome. Mm. We don't have a lot of tourism, or at least I don't have a lot of tourism, but we can steal anything, so yeah. Uh, there's that actually yeah flipping that to a diplomat would give me more vision just trying to look around for a good city-state to maybe flip over Bucharest is a little out of the way I'm not even friendly with a single city-state on the map <laughs> no I'm working on Buenos Aires but they've got a while mm. to go uh, Wellington might be a good one actually I got literally so. zero influence with every single city-state on the map except <laughs> Antwerp I got minus 20 with that one <laughs> so that's not great you used to be allied with Vilnius, no? Yeah. Oh, you're right, because Pakal captured that, right. That's not a city-state anymore. I was very mad. Mm. If I recall correctly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, embargo Denmark fails, Embargo the Maya fails. Did we even mm -hmm. vote for any one of those? I, I didn't get a just... pop-up, maybe we sold them, yeah. Yeah, we, we sold our votes, and because we don't have any temporary votes from city-states, we didn't get the pop-up. Nice modern era, Isabella. A little <laughs> bit late. We're almost in atomic now. Historical landmarks. World order. World ideology order. We're order, aren't we? Yep, uh, we are. We definitely want that. That will give Rome a lot of ideology pressure. So we definitely want that. Yeah, and we can sell it to Pakal. Mm hmm. And we get six gold per turn for voting yes for that. Should have double checked, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Everyone's order except Rome and Morocco yeah. doesn't have mm -hmm. one yet. Yep. Rome is pretty much screwed if world ideology passes. Caravan. High school. Sure. How much money do I have? Not enough, right? 525. Yeah, I don't know. The AI was have so much just random happiness sitting around. Like, Rome's got minus 41. They're still plus 17. I suppose if it passes, that might be enough to send them negative. Although, uh, probably not enough to give them a problem. Uh, yeah, well, Although, when, negative would be nice for the, mm, the um, warfare penalty. But I mean, when you have a lot of cities, the penalties for ideology pressure are really harsh. Oh, that's true. So I've seen very wide AIs drop into negatives simply because the penalties are just so massive. All right, 10 turns to ballistic. Finally going to finish Circus Maximus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On turn 370. Yeah, it's standard. Yeah, better late than never. Marie peace out with city states. Did she peace out for real? Oh, yeah. Austria and Denmark are now at peace. Mm -hmm. so, so I expect I... Denmark to attack Spain next. Well, as long as it's Spain and not you. Happen. Yeah, well, we do have same ideology and we are quite friendly. All right, well, that's good. Should be fine. And I'm keeping some artillery in my cities, you know, just in case. I don't think they will attack us. It's not impossible, but I think it's unlikely. Mm -hmm. But I will be keeping defenses, just in case. <laughs> yeah, well, I have one unit in St. Petersburg, which I suppose mm. wouldn't be enough to hold off a dedicated attack from Austria, but hopefully. That's interesting that the uh, Zwedel didn't fall. They must not have... They must be bombarding it like crazy, mm -hmm. but not actually have the land units. It's good. Yeah. Oh, I need that. Rome is going to have so many bombers. I can already see at least 18. <laughs> 
No, I see 22. Yep, I see 22 bombers. Jesus. 26 bombers. <laughs> well, not bombers, 26 air units. Some are shy planes. Yeah, they actually got a lot of oil by going south through the desert there. Yeah. It worked out really well for them. It's a little bit terrifying. But nothing a few mobile sums can't deal with. Mm hmm So, with research labs, there's no way we lost the tech leader position. I don't think so. And none of the AIs went for rationalism. Oh, that's been really helping us then. Rome has eight in autocracy already. <laughs> That's a lot of policies. Wow. Oh, I wonder if they picked up, uh, you know, the combat bonus one for 50 turns or whatever. Need to keep an eye on that because that might make them harder than we expect. Yeah, how big is that bonus? I don't remember exactly, but it's pretty big. It's like 25%? Something like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. Oh, look at Nicopolis. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. That's where that settler was going. <laughs> yeah, I expected him to start a city mm -hmm. somewhere around there. Oh, that's fine. In before he moves all the bombers there. <laughs> well, not all, but six bombers in that city. That'd be a little annoying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to keep more defenses back behind the lines. That's certainly frustrating. Oops, hold on. Uh, research agreement. Yay. Okay, I got one with Spain. So it's three going on right now. Ooh, this isn't grown over there. Uh, Seville has been captured by Denmark. Oh, I guess they are at war. Yeah. <laughs> Spain will get wiped out <laughs> before that research agreement triggers. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't even know they were at war. Ah, come on, that sucks. Because <laughs> you're saying they're probably going to go uh, at war. I miss the fact that they actually are. Mm. Uh, that's pretty small. You know what? That will help more. Poop. All right, and their triplane done. Make sure to park one in Novgorod. Uh, are you building Neuschwanstein? Or uh, are you planning to build it? Because I can. No. Um, okay. I could build it. Uh, no. Why can't I build it? It's not even my list. Does that not count? Does it have to be right next to a mountain or within two uh, tiles? No, two tiles. I guess maybe because it's not in my borders over at Yaroslav. Yeah, yeah, it has to be in your borders. Yeah, that's the only place I could build it. It's pretty small. Mm -hmm. So I think you should build it because my okay. production wouldn't be. Yeah, I'll build it. It'd be kind of crap. In Stavanger. I don't actually have that much happiness. I'm at six right now. Another Roman settler. All right. There's technically room. Oh, maybe not. Let's say west of Ardea, but I don't think so. Oh my god, two settlers there. <laughs> Rome, you crazy. It clearly needs more settlers. Yeah. And build a fort. They, they only have 36 cities. I mean, come on, that's so few cities. Yeah, it really is. How's a guy supposed to live with that? Yeah. They need more living space. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I know that reference. Wolfsburg. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Austria's not losing any more cities right now. Which is probably good. Yeah, I'm assuming Rome is a little bit more being pulled towards the Maya. They do have a crap ton of units. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, know how we're going to crack that nut. It's going to be tough. Well, it's just going to be slow. We'll probably just have to let them throw their units at us, fortify the best we can, mm -hmm. and just keep killing them for a while. 
until they run out of steam or until there's an opening. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, the good news is AI is usually very bad at managing air units, so as long as we get enough uh, mobile SAMs or entire aircraft guns, they will just keep throwing their bombers at us. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they do like to suicide them. Well, two turns to ballistics. Yep. Almost there. The zoo, that'll work out nicely. And another one there. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have lots of happiness in ahead of time for the next war. Um, and I can sell off some aluminum. Ooh. Isabella, you will give me flat gold per turn? Well, since you're going to disappear soon anyway... All right, so I'm actually going to use a great engineer to rush Neutschweinstein. I could probably hard build it, but that's 30 turns. Can't be bothered to wait that long. Mm -hmm. And this map actually does have quite a bit of mountains. I could see someone beating me to it. Not that many, but... I see some cities that could potentially build it. Here, have like fur. Rome! Rome actually has a mountain within two tiles. So I could C see Ro Rome, the city, building it. Uh, oh, it's building it's building an anti-aircraft gun. Mm -hmm. So we're okay right now. And that was the research agreement with Pakal. Yeah, and that completes ballistics for us. Yep, nice. Might as well get a new one then. Oh, he's going to buy votes. Yeah, I already sold mine. I'll sell him the word ideology vote. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, I think I'm gonna have like all my cities start on end. Oh, 43 turns. I'm right, Ardea is crap. I forgot about that. Build me a workshop first. So, should we go for atomic theory? I think I we should. I think I like it. It's so nice to reveal uranium. Mm. Yeah, because that might change our plans a little bit. I mean, getting actual radar is pretty good too. Yeah. And anyway, in any case, we need electronics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. And in any case, this might be a good place for us to put a cut. Uh, yep. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, folks. See you next time.